I think I have found the ultimate laptop because it is thin, light, and very powerful. But this is not all, as it also has a spectacular high-end OLED screen. And the price? All this cost me less than $800. So where is the butt of this laptop? Is it really perfect? Don't miss the full video because we are going to review all the keys to this laptop, the reasons why you should buy it, and if it is really the best option for you. Let's start by analyzing the main characteristics of this laptop, the Asus VivoBook Pro 14, which we could put within the Ultrabook category since it would meet the requirements of lightness, fineness, and compactness. The screen is 14 inches in this model, although there are also larger versions, reaching up to 16 inches. In this model, the scale stops at 1.45 kilos, although this number will also vary depending on the hardware chosen and the size of the panel. If we compare this number to my previous laptop, which was a 14-inch MSI Prestige weighing 1.2 kilolars, the difference is noticeable, but it is justified, as we will see later. Taking into account the materials used in the construction and the robustness that have been achieved, the weight seems quite an achievement to me. There are lighter laptops, but generally made of plastic and with a lot of flexibility, to the point of being scary. In the laptop that we analyze today, which would be the pro version of the VivoBook 14, a 10-bit OLED panel with 2.8K resolution, 90 hertz refresh rate, 0.2 MES a response time, and a 16 form factor is mounted, 10 somewhat higher than the more traditional 16.9 that your current monitor or laptop will surely have. The screen is potentially the strongest point of this laptop because it is literally amazing how much it beats my MSI Prestige 14 or the MSI Katana 15, the latest generation of MSI gaming laptops. The colors are super vibrant, but also very adjustable, with a screen that reaches super low minimum brightnesses and very high maximum brightnesses. We are talking about 600 nits of maximum brightness, obviously supporting HDR. I would dare to equate the OLED panel of this laptop with a screen from a high-end smartphone. Pure blacks, very high brightness and contrast, and a lot of detail thanks to that resolution. It's great for enjoying content, but also for creating it. As for the battery, we are talking about a 3-cell 63-watt-hour module, which in light use can last you just 8 hours. If you are at medium brightness, watching a video, working on documents, and not using the dedicated graphics card, I have been able to get around five hours from the laptop until the battery has run out starting from 100%. This is obviously without taking into account the wear and tear that it may suffer, which in laptops is usually significant. The battery is not a strong point of this laptop, since, as you will see now, we are talking about a version that has hardware which is more focused on achieving performance rather than efficiency. Charging, however, is very fast, since the laptop includes a 120W charger, which will charge the battery from 0% to 100% in less than an hour. If the OLED screen is the best thing about this laptop, the specifications would be the second best. I reiterate that we are discussing a model costing less than $800, equipped with an 8-core Ryzen 7 5800H processor and a 4GB RTX 3050 graphics card. It is uncommon to find an Ultrabook with a dedicated graphics card, let alone an RTX 3050, at such a lightweight. These are components from the previous generation, but they still hold a lot of value, especially within the Ultrabook market and at this price point. It is truly surreal, and I cannot explain it. The laptop on Amazon did not state that the graphics card had a dedicated graphics card, so it may have been an error with my shipment. They may have been confused and sent me a superior version by mistake, but I would be surprised. In any case, this processor integrates a graphics card that works brilliantly, and it will be the one you will be using most of the time, since it is much more efficient than the RTX. For the rest, this version has 16GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel and at 3200MHz, a very positive point that will allow us to take good advantage of that CPU. The SSD is an NVMe Gen 3 model with 512GB raw capacity. It has also given us super good results, reaching between 1500-2000 MBS for reading and writing. With these speeds, Windows and program loads are super fast. 
Again, it is not the latest on the market, but it is super top for the price. So what is the performance that the definitive Ultrabook gives us? Will it perform less than promised? Yes, I have even tried it in games, although it is a very unusual scenario for an Ultrabook. In Fortnite, with 1080p resolution and competitive settings, we exceeded 60 FPs, making the experience more than decent. We are talking about a super lightweight laptop that is not designed for long gaming sessions, but during the couple of games I played to do this test, the truth is that everything has gone smoothly. The fans work at full speed and the laptop gets hot, but with headphones, it is not a problem. Other tasks, such as video editing, which is ultimately what I want this Ultrabook for, are a real joy with this RTX 3050 graphics card. In Adobe Premiere, the GPU acceleration is noticeable, and it has made my life a lot easier, especially in those heavier videos, like this review, where you have to work with super demanding 4K clips. The jump compared to any integrated graphics is substantial, and it is well worth it for this type of task. If you are a less demanding user, you will obviously have more than enough with this laptop, you will really enjoy its screen and also its fluidity, which is excellent for undemanding tasks. You don't even need all the power of this laptop for that. Which lightweight Ultrabook laptop should you buy? In short, this Ultrabook does not have the latest generation of components, nor is it the most powerful laptop you could get for $800, but it has a very high-end OLED screen, weighs less than 1.5 kg, and you can take it wherever you want. There is nothing like it for less than $1,500. Also, if you have reached this point, leave that piece of like and don't miss the videos that I leave on the screen because I'm sure they will interest you too.